hello guys welcome to my youtube channel games warehouse for you so guys in this video we're gonna create a fire and smoke system in blender and uh, this we're gonna render it in the cycles render mode uh, in uh, blender 2.8 so let's start first of all uh, what we have we should have is if you want to make an animation like this that the object come collide and then the blast so for this purpose uh, you just have you have three uh, you should have three things one a cube or box or region object and a colliding object so in this video we're gonna create this animation so let's start so guys here I have a simple scene and um, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna first m uh, make the particle system for the car to get destroyed because the smoke and fire doesn't destroy the car it just creates a uh, effect it is an effect okay so I just have to create the particle effect for this car or any kind of object you have to destroy it or any kind of building even so I click on this particles and then click on new now I have a particle system and you can see that when I start the animation here it emits the particles which go downwards it means the object we destroy go down so we're gonna uh, change some settings here of physics we will click this option which is multiply mass with size okay and then we got forces we set it to 1 and uh, we will change this after observing the explosion so for this purpose now it also doesn't destroy the car so to destroy the car we go to the modifiers which is here and then we go uh, and uh, add a modifier of explode and now you can see that the car destroys but it regenerates itself and it doesn't destroy completely or now it is not much realistic so for this we will select this size and cut edges so this will destroy the car more realistic or yes it will destroy car more realistically so we go to particles and uh, here we cannot see the destroyed part of car so for this I will increase the size so you can see the parts of car destroying here ok now this is good and the random size to full one and the size to random size one ok now we can um, do some things to make it more realistic number of particles so I said it no 8000 so it, it will emit more particles so it will look more realistic uh, 8000 not too much 5000 okay now okay random yes random uh, now this to full no 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 not full point two I can random directions okay and then uh, just that's it or okay now we go to the physics the last tab here and then we add a smoke because when it destroy it uh, produce smoke and fire okay so we go to smoke and then we have three options domain flow and collision the object which is need to be destroyed like which is needed to be destroyed which is this object here so for this we use flow and domain and collision will be discussed in the video later so flow and we don't want only smoke we want smoke and fire so we select the smoke and fire and initial velocity and smoke color to little darker okay 
Now we cannot see the smoke even in the render mode. So because of we don't have any kind of region in which the fire occurs. So to make the atmosphere the region we will create a cube. So mesh cube and uh, increase the size of cube and now it is a region oh sorry man okay uh, I will turn off this auto keyframe and then now uh, okay I will increase the size like this now it is a region but we cannot see it so we go to smoke and domain. Domain is the region in which the fire occurs and now you can see the fire is more realistic and occurring. So now you can see the fire occurs and it is too slow. It is like it doesn't uh, go upward fastly. But we will fix it in the video. So I will tell you why and now but you can see that when the animation starts it just started f sm uh, emitting uh, smoke and fire uh, so if we don't want this we want the fire occur when the object collide with this so for this we use a third thing which is called a collision and uh, we're gonna uh, create another object which is here a uh, UV sphere and then we're gonna scale it like this okay yes okay now we go to add uh, physics smoke and collision and uh, we don't use a static collision we will use a uh, animated collision because we will animate this object to pass through this object uh, car so we go to stop this go to first frame press I and lock the location and rotation so this sets the frame one here this is its position now and we go to last frame and s do this uh, change its position from this and now set its position here now this is its position is now here it doesn't belong to that position so from first frame he will try to come on this position because in the last frame this is its position this is its destination so now he will try to go there and he will collide with this and you can see when he collides he take away the fire with him because it is a collision object okay but still the fire begins before it collides so to fix it we will observe when it collides with the car yes using arrow keys I'm doing this okay now you get it collide on 68 frame so we go to car we go to select the car and uh, here we go to particle systems which is here and then we go select 68 okay and uh, it passes through about uh, 86 so we set it to 90 to make it more realistic and then but still I have set it the particles not the fire so I will select this domain and uh, the physics smoke physics smoke and we go down and uh, here in the smoke cache shape from start we started from 68 and end at 143 the ending frame which is 143 here we, ha we have 143 so 143 at the end it didn't it didn't uh, did not stop it before the animation and now you can see that when it refreshes now no fire occur no explosion but when it collides it is blast and you can see all the car destroys and it fires occur and one thing that the smoke stops here it didn't go further from this cube from this domain 
so to fix it we will set up this smog adaptive domain okay so now this will fix your problem okay now but one thing still one error we are using the cycles render and you can see that we go to render mode we can see the cube only not the car no fire so to fix this it is a simple solution and per but we have to create a complex flow node editor for this I, I'm not going to create a node editor I'm using the built-in blender node editor but this node editor is only for smoke not for fire but we have to create the node for fire but do not worry about it because it is only three node objects consist of only three node objects so now we select our domain which is cube go to material new material and delete all of this and uh, select the scene create another uh, mesh of cylinder or anything not not necessary to select a particular object go to object quick effect quick smoke so now it will create a quick smoke for this if you see when I, I will just start the emission it emits smoke okay so we can see this smoke in render mode but not the smoke I have created so I will copy this node and then delete this object and go to my domain and paste this here so now if I go to uh, my render mode uh, like this is smoke it emits smoke yes we go to render mode and we can see the smoke it is full black we don't want it uh, we will change its color but uh, not now it will automatically be changed when I create the fire and I don't understand why because there's no kind of color here in this node I did I studied it but I didn't understand anything and when I created the fire in it it just pick it just um, the smoke color changes with it and I don't know why but uh, don't know how it is possible but uh, just do it so we have a, a attribute here shift del uh, shift D which is which duplicate it and then we will create by shift A or clicking this add we go to the converter and color ramp we select it and select this factor to the color ramp no color to factor color ramp okay so we have to make the color here so you can see the fire have about three colors of orange yellow and white and also have black colors at the sides if you see so make a little black here and if control and click here so now we have another this object I'm gonna red color because red color is also in, in this uh, present in fire if you notice and now we can create a uh, orange color like here so orange and bright like this and we're gonna create a yellow color because yellow color is also present and white color we want white color more so like this so now we have a white color and like this now we have a color of fire okay if you can see it clearly if you see yes okay now uh, shift A and you can see that when fire occurs it emit light so for the emission of light in blender we use emission shader so we go to shift A shader emission yes and now we can select it color to color and then this emission to shader and this shader is automatically connected to the volume and if you go to the render mode render mode you can see the fire also occurs it is not more realistic because it isn't rendered properly and we cannot render it because it will take about four minutes 
so we cannot afford it so we got a solid model again but it works and it will emit smoke also uh, if you render it okay so you can see the now your project is completed so guys for now this video ends here and uh, till the next time goodbye